The CAN Converter is an award-winning UL classified product that allows easy, affordable transformation from an ordinary CAN light to a variety of lighting design choices. This presentation will provide you with step-by-step -step instructions for installing the R56 CAN Converter in conjunction with a chandelier. Before you begin, you will need to have a few tools on hand. Make sure you have a power drill, a slotted screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver, a marker, wire cutters, and safety goggles. To get started, lay out the contents of the CAN converter box. Your box will contain a power outlet adapter with power leads, a mounting bracket, three offset sliding brackets, three flathead screws, each with a wing nut or number 10 nuts, two brass nuts, and a threaded pipe, a mounting plate, this plate will not be used for chandelier conversions, both a flat medallion and a beveled medallion, a reducer bushing, and three self-tapping screws. Before we start the installation, turn on the light switch to the can you will be replacing. In your breaker box, make sure you shut off the power to that switch. At this point, you may want to do any pre-assembly for your new lighting fixture. Also, choose the medallion that you want to use. Determine the length of the chain you will need by measuring how far from the ceiling the fixture will drop. Cut the chain to length. On your existing can light, remove the light bulb and the can trim. Next, put together the mounting bracket assembly using the mounting bracket, the three offset sliding brackets, and the three flat head screws along with the wing nuts. Within your existing can housing, there is a metal bracket that holds the light socket. If it is adjustable, loosen the wing nut and slide the bracket to the top of the can housing. Then tighten the wing nut and screw in the can converter power outlet adapter. If your socket is not adjustable, just remove the socket from the trim. Then, screw the CAN converter power outlet adapter into the socket. Near the base of your existing CAN light, you may see no metal screws or you may see one to four screws. If the screws are not in a triangular configuration, remove one screw. Set the assembled mounting bracket in position to utilize the existing screw hole. Using a CAN converter self-tapping screw, lightly secure one offset sliding bracket to the CAN. Loosen the wing nuts and slide the offset sliding brackets so that they make contact with the inside wall of the can housing. Mark the lock positions of the other two offset bracket holes on the can housing. Loosen the self-tapping screw and remove the mounting bracket assembly. Using your power drill, screw the self-tapping screws into the marks through to the can housing. Only screw the screws in halfway. Reinsert the mounting bracket and position the offset sliders onto the three self-tapping screws and lock into position. Then, tighten the screws securely into the can housing. If your existing can's mounting screws are in a triangular position, remove them and replace them with the self-tapping screws. Use the existing screw holes to mount the offset brackets. Loosen the wing nuts on the long flathead screws and adjust the heads so they are level with the base of the can. Then, tighten the wing nuts. Extend the socket wires through an opening in the mounting plate and down toward the bottom of the can housing. Screw the threaded pipe into the mounting bracket. The pipe should extend below the level of the can. Screw on the light hook that came with your chandelier. If your light hook does not fit the threaded pipe, use the reducer bushing to accommodate the diameter of your light hook. Hold the medallion and the light canopy from your chandelier together against the ceiling. Adjust the threaded pipe so that the top of the light hook lies about 1 8 inch inside the light canopy. Remove the hook, canopy, and medallion. Secure the threaded pipe against the mounting bracket with the brass nut. Replace the hook. Bring your pre-assembled chandelier into position. If the chandelier is awkward, you may want to place it on a box just high enough so that the end of the chain will reach the light hook. Thread the chandelier wiring through the links in the chain. 
slide the chandelier nut, light canopy, and medallion down the chain. Now, attach the chain to the light hook. Feed the ground wire all the way up through the light hook and the threaded pipe and down the inside of the can. Do the same for the hot and neutral wires. Then, cut off the excess wire. Using wire nuts, pair together the fixture's hot wire and the power outlet adapter's hot wire, the subsequent neutral wires and ground wires. Neatly tuck the wiring into the can. Slide the medallion and the light canopy past the chain and through the light hook up to the ceiling. Then, slide the light hook nut up the chain and attach the assembly to the light hook by tightening the nut. Turn the power back on at your breaker box and enjoy your new lighting fixture.